I think one of the things that was really important about that burnout and and how do you keep going is it's not about me. It's about the issue and somebody has to be there. Mm. You know, and sometimes I look around and mm. there is nobody else mm. who will be there. And so I have to do it. And when you're elected, it's not like if I'm fed up with this in three months, I'll find another job. Mm. You know, the noose is around your neck for the next three years. Mm. So I think that it was the passion um, for the issues and for the ideas that could keep me going. And I used to think that if I worked my brain hard enough each day mm. and I ran far enough each day and I swam far enough each day, I would be so tired I could sleep, mm. you know, so that my brain didn't sit there blaming me for every inadequacy of the government I was part of. And then in the morning when the alarm rang, I moved so quickly I couldn't think. So I would, out of bed, pull the running gear on, go past the bathroom, go to the lavatory, out the door, lock it and run. So there was no time mm. ever to go, what a shit of a day and a shit of a life and a whatever. Mm. Like, and then running. And then once I was outside running in Wellington, mm. I, for the next sort of 45 to 60 minutes, it was going to be okay because Wellington was a distraction, mm. you know, and often it was beautiful, mm. you know, and you'd have to say to yourself, well, just try and remember this and balance this with the horrors of, you know, the coming day. Mm. So I was constantly trying to find ways to get through. Mm.